Hi everyone, I am back with a project share video today. I started working on our Disney trip album last Friday and it took me about nine days in between life and you know taking kids to work and whatnot. So um, it wasn't nine days straight but um, I think if I never got interrupted I probably could have gotten it done in a couple of days. But, um, yeah, life gets in the way. So, this is my album I am here to share with you. It is complete and full of photos. This is the spine. It is three inches. That's pretty big. That's just the back. And this is the front. So, the album style that I find myself doing more of now these days is one that is taught by Corrine over at Corrine's Creations and I will put the link in the description for you guys. She does an excellent tutorial. Um, I followed her older tutorial a few years back and I made several of those and then um, she's got a, a newer one from about a year ago um, but it's basically it's a start to finish on how to construct the album and um, understanding the concept of what she's doing so you can make any size album you would like. So once you understand that, you can make any size. I adjust my sizes all the time for whatever album I'm making. Sometimes I want it bigger, sometimes I want it smaller, and she teaches you how to do that. Super, super simple. You guys have to go check out her video. Um, so yeah, this is her style, and... Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. I did use, uh, let me talk about some stuff I used. I used the Simple Stories uh, Say Cheese and Say Cheese 2 collection. I do not have Say Cheese 3 quite yet, but I do plan on getting it. Um, so I used a combination of both. The great thing about those collections is they all coordinate together. So you can always use the older ones with the newer ones, which is fantastic. Um... The, the Say Cheese 2 has uh, the gold foiling, so these stars are gold foiled, and then the word magic is gold foiled, so you can see that. Um, the little uh, wood pieces are from 2, these little bits and bobs are from 2, and these letter stickers and numbers are actually from the Say Cheese original collection. So there's going to be a mixture of everything in here. I did also use a new... Uh, Stampin' Up! item that um, I'm going to do a tidbit tutorial on, and that is these little tabs here, so we'll get to those in a few minutes. So I did uh, kind of modify Ginger's uh, from uh, my my sister Scrapper. Um, love her, her waterfall folios. I still make her waterfall folios, but I did put, um, I kind of made some adjustments and did a waterfall in the front and the back of this album, so I actually have two of them. So this one's got uh, Minnie Mouse. I used my bow punch from Stampin' Up! and uh, made the little mini heads out of circle punches or Mickey heads, whatever. So this has uh, got a magnet on it, and then all the photos are just matted with some of the paper. So these are just um, photos on our way out and then like that first day that we got to Disney and we always stay at the same resort most of the time um, which is the All-Star Music Resort. Love it. So this is the front page and I really didn't want to cover up this paper too much because I really liked this. So all I did was just add this little uh, decorative piece on some dimensionals. Just popped it up. So made it really, really simple. Um, every pocket or every page has a pullout. And these are the tabs I was talking about. So I made little Mickey tabs. <laughs> They're adorable. I love them. So actually the tab punch and the stamps right here, the stars, and then the outline stamp, those are from the um, tabs for everything bundle that we are currently carrying at Stampin' Up! It's a new item. It's fantastic. I see myself using a lot of this. And then it just so happens that if you've got this EK Success Mickey Mouse Head Punch, it fits. And I'm going to do a tidbit tutorial on this, so stay tuned for that. Um, but yeah, so these are all of my... 
These aren't very fancy because they're in the pockets and I really didn't want them to, um, you know, get mushed or stick out or, you know, anything like that. So that is that. So there's two photos. That's the only one that has uh, multiple photos. So then here is my first page layout like this. Zoom out a little bit more. Hopefully this is in the camera. So um, you'll see little bits um, here and there. There's some stickers and some uh, just little cutouts from the little ephemera pack that you can get. And then I have some enamel dots that I had and I put a bunch of those everywhere. Um, using a ticket punch. I punched all the photos with a ticket punch so it does that little ticket on the corners. So then this is just my kids in the pool because that's what they like to do. And usually when we go the first day it's pretty chill. So then this is just some more photos. This is my big old Mickey head pretzel. Um, not only was it really yummy but it's super cute. And then this is a pocket, just has some decoration on it. Um, there's just some matted photos in here. I do have little things on the back of these ones. Um, so if I wanted to go back and add some journaling or something, we can or the kids can, you know, whatever. So that's in that pocket. And then we have another little pullout here. Um, this this is my husband. I know you guys never see him, and I don't really talk about him much, but that's him. There he is. Um, this was actually, this was a new space that they opened. Um, one of my favorite rides is the Peter Pan ride, and uh, we've never seen this before. We've always waited, like, outside for it. So this is Disney World, not Disneyland. So this is all from um, Florida. Um, but they had it open to where you could go inside for the line and kind of zigzag and they had all this cool stuff set up and uh, almost like it was the inside of the house. It was really cool. So I have a couple pictures of that. And this is the Little Mermaid ride and I got a couple of good pics. This is like my favorite scene from Little Mermaid and I love the song for that one. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then here's... Me and Ty. And this is all of us at the big Thunder Mountain Railroad. So this is just um, the boys with a hedge thing. I don't, it's like a dragon or something. I don't even know. Um, and then this is a pocket. So this opens and then there's like a handful of photos in here from the Animal Kingdom. So that's in there. Just shove those down there. And that's got a magnet. And it also has a pull-out tab. So there's another one of all of us. This was waiting to get on the dinosaur ride. And then here we go. Um, this was at Disney Springs. So there's me and hubby. And then our favorite restaurant down there is House of Blues. It's amazing. They have the best food. So this is just Caleb with the sign and then they were having their 25th anniversary um, when we were there. So then this. And then that one. This is a giant like headset with Mickey ears um, in Disney Springs. It's so cool. So we've got that. Another page. I used some of the... Uh, little cutout words. So I have magic and believe down here. This is the Tinkerbell hedge that is pretty new. I've had it for a couple of years. So this pull out and here's some more. I think this was um, in front of China down in Epcot. That was the end of the day for that one. I did take a lot more um, pictures. They all just didn't make it in the album because some of them were duplicated that are in other albums and that wasn't really necessary. So here's a giant panda, um, and here's a troll. Some of the hedges are really cool down there. So there's another pocket. 
with some more photos, obviously, you know, tech time, because, you know, you can't go anywhere without your phones. And then here is actually, this is pretty cool. This was the, uh, the March, I forget what it was, the March of something. And there's all these stormtroopers. <laughs> it was pretty cool. So, and then there's that one. And then they have this cool, like, movie type Star Wars thing you can go see. Oh, so Caleb had ordered waffles and chicken. We've never seen waffles and chicken before, and the waffles were Darth Vader, so that's pretty cool. These are some of the items you can actually purchase in the shop of after you do the little Star Wars stuff in their section. We're waiting for the huge Star Wars thing to come open. So this was at Blizzard Beach, and it's a little sign that says, All adults should be accompanied by a child. And then this little lizard, my husband thinks I'm funny for taking pictures of lizards, but he was actually really cute, and he would just kind of sit there, and then he would look back at me, and then he would sit, like, <laughs> I don't know. He was funny, so he was like my bud while they were all doing their water thing. I don't really do the water thing. So here we are at Hollywood Studios, and I love this sign. I have a picture of the other boys, um, just the two of these guys a couple years ago, and it's really cool. And so there's all four of us. There was a really nice guy there who I asked if he could get a photo of us, and he did a fantastic job. And then here is Caleb, and I forget what this thing is called. Like, I like Star Wars, but I'm not you know, a, a diehard Star Wars fan, so I don't, I keep forgetting what the name of that thing is, but as you can see, um, the person underneath here was slightly shorter than Caleb, which he thought was pretty funny. So this is when we first went into Hollywood Studios, and then they are doing, behind here is all the Star Wars land stuff, so it's got, it's all blocked off, and they're working, and then over on this other side this way they're doing Toy Story Land so it was pretty cool had to take a picture of the boys there thought it was scratched okay so then we have another page here these are the green army men that come out and do funny things you know whatever so he's got his little whatever you call that thing I'm just not with it today <laughs> and he was talking and giving people directions it was funny so here's another pocket and these are just some of the stickers that came with uh, part of the collection. And then I just randomly placed them. So this is the uh, the great movie ride that we did, which is really cool. So I got some decent pictures. Mary Poppins, um, John Wayne for my mom. She's a John Wayne fan. And this one turned out really well of the Wizard of Oz. So that was pretty cool. I got a, a few more, but they didn't turn out that great. So it is kind of dark in there. Um, yeah, Ty was begging me for Starbucks, so we went to Starbucks. And I love the Disney cups. Didn't keep it, though. And then this is just one of the huge things that are um, illuminated at night in the um, outside the resort. They have all these different things all over, so... Just thought that was pretty cool. The kids read the pool that night, so I just shot that. And then this is our last morning. This is when we were actually getting ready to leave. Um, this got bent because it kept getting caught over here, so I had to put a sticker and stuff. I had to, and I don't have another one, so it's kind of pissing me off. But whatever. So um, yeah, just put that there. Added some of these little pieces on this side. Like, it's not super fancy. It's pretty simple, but I love it. So these little things here are inside the, like, cafeteria area. And where the booths are, they've got the dividers. And there was a ton of them. But um, I didn't get pictures of all of them. So just some artwork in there. And then this was on my um, coffee cup. So it's just a couple quotes from Walt Disney. The era we are living in today is a dream coming true. And then on the other side it said, We keep moving forward, opening up new doors, and doing new things. So I thought that was cool. And then this is a view from our balcony at some of the stuff that goes on around that resort. 
then this was at the Orlando International Airport, just kind of hanging out. And then the back page, I didn't want to cover this one up either. It's kind of like that newspaper print like it is in the front, only it's got like Mickey's ear right here. So I just left it, and then this is the other waterfall. So we just have Mickey on this side. Um, I put Mickey in the back because most of the weight sits on the back. So Minnie's in the front with her bow so she doesn't get squished. So again, just some photos like us leaving. Um, it's our room number. It's our little electric thing that you take your uh, your little bands and hold it up to and it unlocks your door. This is some of uh, the music art stuff that they have in these cases. Again, at the airport, uh, Caleb and I on the plane, and then it started down pouring really bad as we were getting ready to leave. So, yeah, we missed the weather. I think that was the second or third time we dodged it. Like, perfect timing. Because um, in Florida, for those of you who haven't been there, when it rains, it rains. <laughs> Um, and then this was coming into Colorado, um, at one point it was just full of snow, and then we came further in and there was no snow, it was so crazy. So, I'll try to lift those up for you guys, there we go. Kinda nuts. So, there you have it, there is my Disney, it's kinda squeaky because some of the pictures are rubbing together. Uh, our Disney 2017 trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this little look through and um, I will be back soon with a tidbit tutorial on these tabs and how to make them and uh, any questions or anything let me know down below. Um, links will be in the description and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!